What's going on everyone? Update on the Toyota 4Runner, second generation. We'll go ahead and do another quick simple walk around. Just give you guys an update on the rig, what I've been doing to it. Haven't done much to it to be honest, except for uh, maintenance. But as far as modification goes, haven't done much modification. Uh, last time, I think I told you guys, <laughs> we did a uh, coolant flush, oil change, differential transmission T case front and rear differential I also did <laughs> went ahead and install manual locking hubs <laughs> these are the ASIN ISIN manual locking hubs Ugh, they're super tough right now <clears throat> that's to lock your CVs and then this is to free them when we were doing the install uh, I accidentally used the impact gun to tighten it back up and I snapped one of the bolts. So went ahead and bought a new bolt. So this one is nice and shiny. <coughs> I did went ahead and spray some degreaser on my wheels and uh, put some muscle into them, scrubbed them the other day at the car wash. And they're a little bit shiny now, but nothing too crazy. Lower ball joint, upper ball joint, CV, new shocks. The only thing I still have to do is I do have to change my tie rods. These aren't super bad, but they are pretty loose now. So I might do that next month or so. <coughs> I did went ahead and went I did went ahead and install the uh the uh forgot the name right now. Brain fart, whatever that plate is. I also went ahead and uh, power washed the frame and everything and went ahead and sprayed some Rust-Oleum black spray paint <coughs> just to prevent it from uh, further rust and such. I think last time when I did a video I didn't show you guys that we did the EGR but I also made a separate video just pertaining to that. So <laughs> we did do an EGR on this. EGR delete in the car on the engine Other than that I haven't really done much. <laughs> I still haven't got the roof rack. There's one roof rack on eBay on Amazon for $70 So I haven't got that yet <clears throat> I Tried to remove my tow hitch here, and it's freaking stuck in there really really bad uh, It's not welded in or anything. It's just really stuck in there. So even with PB blaster I try hammering it, I try putting a toe strap to it and then putting the other end onto a tree and giving it some tug and that thing just won't come out. <coughs> On the bottom here, these are the original shocks or the shocks that came with it. I still have to replace those shocks with some new ones but again, priority does not call for right now. I did a little spray paint on the uh, axle here, but nothing too crazy. <laughs> Gonna have to wait till summer and then actually get down there and do some scrubbing and then I can put some new coat of paint on it. The issue with the cap, gas cap, I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. I'm not gonna find a new gas cap on it. <laughs> I still haven't fixed the e-brake issue. Not sure why it's doing it. But hey, maybe you guys can help me. So let me show you guys what's going on with the e-brake system. It's a very peaceful day here in Anchorage, Alaska though. We're on the east side. This is the Totem Theater. You guys know everything's all shut down. Alright, so let me see if you guys can help me. Because I know you guys are smart too. <coughs> or you guys have great knowledge. So let me show you what's wrong with the e-brake here. Uh. <coughs> so this is my e-brake. <coughs> and... If I was to put this in gear right now, I can actually, and if, if the vehicle start rolling, I can actually pull it and I can feel the brake engage, but look at this. You guys see that? And usually when you pull your e-brake, you can hear the clicks, it go and then it stays put. It stays put until you press this button here, which will release it. But you guys see? It's literally just coming about. There's nothing, it's not staying where it's supposed to be at, so. So if you guys know how this works, I haven't really taken a look down there. I'm assuming there's a spring or something. But for some reason it's not clicking no more, so... Let me know what you guys think about that. 
these are my old seat covers from my other Toyota so I saved them and uh, put it on this car here still haven't geez I still haven't fixed the back window but again waiting for summertime don't want to mess with that right now go ahead and show you guys the engine here's the 22 re engine I think last time when I did the EGR delete I showed you guys how I capped these off and I used the existing tubes but again I went to AutoZone and they finally had these or no I went to O'Reilly's O'Reilly's and they had these these are valve these are meant to do this exactly so um, I was able to fill them up cover them up and uh, other than that, I didn't do much. Oh, I did. I didn't tell you guys, but I did tell you guys on my Instagram. I went ahead and replaced my clutch fan because my clutch fan was not spinning at all. It was super rough. But now with a new clutch fan, the engine is much more quieter. I decided to not replace the belts right now because those belts are actually good belts. But that don't know what's going on with the camera here. But I was saying, I decided to not replace my belts. Uh, those are the original belts that came with the engine, with the vehicle. Uh, they're still in really, really good condition, so I'm gonna keep them. I do have spare belts in the vehicle just in case something does happen. I also went and got some new rubber grommets and uh, put some new grommets today. Actually, the old ones were all crusty up. And also, my the, when I bought it, it had came with a dipstick and it was really loose. So this is a brand new OEM dipstick and look how tough it is. It, <clears throat> super tough. So that one fills it nice and snug here. <clears throat> I also ordered the new uh, OEM OEM air filter. So I took out the K&N air filter and put the OEM back in. I still keep the K&N air filter just as a backup one. So in case this goes bad or, and I have to order a new one, I can put the K&N air filter for the meanwhile. Because it is a, it is a uh, reusable. You can wash that filter and put oil on it and go from there. But other than that, guys, haven't done too much to the engine. Just want to give you guys a quick update. Let me know what you guys have been up to. Let me know. Let me know if you guys have any questions. And uh, you guys have a wonderful day. Bye bye.